Are you ready to check out eight weird and unique fidget toys that absolutely went viral? Yes, you heard! Today we're going to be looking at eight different fidget toys. Some went viral on Twitter for the weird reasons and others were absolutely viral on TikTok. We're going to be looking at so many different kinds of sensory toys and fidget toys and yes, even a mystery box of fidget toys. On the table, you can see that one of them, more specifically this one, went crazy viral on TikTok with tens of millions of views. And the concept is that it's a poppet reflex fidget toy game. I don't know, we're gonna find out together. And there's this monstrosity, which I'm excited to touch. It's, it's really hard not to touch it. It's really, it's, this thing is just dangling. This in itself is a fidget toy. And then we have everything from sensory mats, which I'm really excited about because every time I see different kinds of cloth or texture, I want to touch it. As someone with ADHD, I need to feel things. I need to have things going on with my hands. So I'm very excited about this. And then we also have this one over here. And the concept is we're getting so many different kinds of buttons and pulleys and things that's supposed to mimic a kind of control panel. So that's really cool. And this here is the mystery box of fidget toy. Again, I don't know what to expect from this, but it's supposed to be relaxing, kind of like picking things from little holes. But not only was I able to find this, but one of you grains also sent me one in my PO box. So we do have two of them to unbox. But of the ones that you see on the desk here, tell me which one are you the most excited to see and which one do you have the least hope on? I'm most excited about the control panel one and probably least excited about the mystery box one. So we'll see which one I'm right, 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 I'm so excited. Oh, by the way, this came with the fidget cube. I have no idea where this is supposed to go. And while you're letting me know which one you're excited about, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will make you a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. Don't worry about this. This is a sharp pointy thing. It's our love language. This is a perfect time to remind you grains and YouTube that my videos are product reviews for people with purchasing power, not for little ones. My content never was and never will be for kids. So let's go ahead and move everything to the side and start off with the one that is obviously the weirdest. Get you over there. This is over here. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm very excited to try them all because they're so hard to find new ones. And we're going to start with this one over here that just seems to have so much going on. And on Twitter, Ali tagged me for this product here because someone said, what the bleep is this? And you can see it had over a million views just on this post. And I was able to find this fidget toy on Amazon. However, at the time I got it, it was about $35. And now the price went down to $15.99. It just goes to show how trends really change the price of items. So at $15, it technically would be an interesting price point for any of you grains who are looking to get fidget toys, whether it be for you and the office or for the little ones in your life. But the question is, is it actually good? And the first thing I can tell you is that it's extremely noisy. I don't know where this goes. Does anybody know? Does this go here? Is this, <gasps> it goes here. Oh, okay. Oh my God, oh, this is just, it just got weirder. It just, oh no. <laughs> it's noisy, it's clunky, but it's obnoxious. I personally, I'm getting goosebumps right now. I think I'm liking this, which is a problem. It's obnoxious, but I'm, I'm, I'm already liking it because of the noises. By the way, I know that many of you grains love K-pop and J-pop type music, so why not manage your own character who does just that? So introducing today's sponsor, Life Makeover. Links to download will be in the pinned comment as well as the description box below. For those of you who don't know Life Makeover, it's a new lifestyle simulation game making your very own customized character, everything from their face, their hair, their makeup, their eyebrows, lip color, body shape. I absolutely fell in love with the outfits in this game because it has like this fantasy element to it. And of course, you can look your character from all different angles. Just now, a new version update called Moonlight Banquet. And it is available from the 23rd of August to September 12th. In which, during this time, you can get five-star clothing like the Grand Court and Burning Lotus but available for a limited time. You can also build your own ideal home and invite your friends from all over the world. In addition to that, you can cook, exercise, and even work jobs to gain money. And it definitely lends itself to a kind of dollhouse decoration and DIY type game. Did I mention in addition to a really cute story, there's an element of romance and mystery. So if you're ready to customize your own character, build your dream home, and get into the whole fashion industry, check out Life Makeover in the pinned comment as well as the description box below to get started. Thank you, Life Makeover over for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Announcement time with Jackie! I have a personal announcement to make 
make regarding two amazing things. Firstly, this is the last weekend you can pick up my very own Creatures of Darkness coloring book kit that comes with watercolor and colored pencils. And this is your last chance to be able to pick up these gorgeous illustrations that were done by Sarah Rose Art, inspired by my sculptures that have come to life in a Disney evil Pixar type vibe. I am so proud of this kit and thank you so much everyone for the support, but we are now almost at the end. So if you want to pick up your own, I will link it down below. And even if you're a beginner at watercolor, look at all these amazing illustrations that you greens have put together as beginners because this is a beginner friendly kit. And with spooky season around the corner, if you haven't grabbed your very own Winston the Rabbit plush by Ace of Clay, they are still available. I will link them down below. I absolutely love the quality of this plushie that was inspired by his own sculpture. And this is Ace of Clay's first ever plushie that he was able to make purely on his own, so you know the quality is out there. And even the hair on this character has hair-like texture. Look at this. It's so creepy. It's perfect for the creepy vibes coming in. Again, everything that I talked about will be linked down below. And I also just wanted to extend a thank you to you, Grains, for absolutely everything. Whether you're watching by supporting, by commenting, by liking, or even checking out the things and projects that we've put together. I really, truly appreciate you. Okay, back to our regular programming. All right, so where do I even start? So let's start with one side. There seems to be a kind of glass hour shape over here that is also spinner. So if I wanted to see this go down, it works. It's not the greatest that I've seen, but it does make its own sound and the little beads do go down. Not my favorite side usually, but <laughs> I don't even know where to go. It's almost overstimulating, but let's get a little closer and focus on this side. So we have a switch. Let's hear that switch. Oh, <gasps> this is good. I like the switch. Then we have a wheel. Okay, it's a little hard to see, but it actually spins very nicely. Very smooth. Definitely the kind of wheels that you want on anything that you want to push. Very nice. And oh my gosh, this, this thing. I think I'm, let's just put the key in there and get to it when we get there. There's a fidget spinner with a door stopper. So let's see how well the fidget spins. What? Okay, that is weird. That is, that is legit a really good fidget spinner. Okay, we have a good fidget spinner. And then this one, it doesn't do the kind of sound effect because it's attached to something maybe a little too solid, but it is there. Not sure I would use it. I wonder if I could just remove it. Yeah, you can remove it if you don't care for it, which I don't care for it. And then over here, it's funny because I have this same toy for my parrot and sometimes you'll hear him and he'll just screech like this. And let's look at this here. Yeah, I like these. What I would like to see is a bit of a stopper on this end so that you don't lose this piece. So you can kind of just move it back and forth like that. So, I wish this one had a stopper. What's next? <laughs> There's so much. What are you? Is this a hot water tap? No, I don't like this. It doesn't offer anything and it's just, it's just weird. I never found myself wanting to open something like this and turn it on and off. It just, no, not my thing. And now for the keys. First of all, this chain and the keys make a really good sound. But let's check what it actually opens. I really hope there's a click sound. Well, that sounded good. Let's hear that again. I like that. That I actually like. Pretty cool. And let's turn it. Please click. No. Okay, it does bring a little bit of a knob here, but nothing else. So the keys do feel good, but the actual lock itself doesn't actually do a click, so it's kind of a meh. Overall, I have to say this is pretty clunky. It does have some good elements. And at $15, it's, it's kind of a novelty fidget toy. If you want one, I would say, sure, go for it. But I'm going to give it a base of seven on 10. So it's not too bad. Sometimes these things go to show that just because something is viral doesn't mean it's good. Next viral item is this fidget toy game. I've seen so many TikToks where people are just playing with this and it looks really fun because it's both a reflex game and a fidget game and a pop it. So like, come on, it just seems like it's a lot of fun. And this here is called Pop It Pro. It does say try me, I don't want to try you. It's almost like a threat. You want to try me? I'm going to try you. Ow. <laughs> 
And the idea is that it lights up and there's a pattern and you kind of have to play with it. It reminds me of the game Bop It, Bop it. or even Simon, since the aim of the game is basically to follow the instructions that the game challenges you with. And as you can see here, it does have a rating of 4.3 stars on Amazon and I paid about $40 for it, which does make the price tag a little bit on the hefty side. So let's see if it's good. All right. So what does it say in the back? It says there's pro mode, pop and pass and pop and blitz. Yeah, this really reminds me of bop it. Bop it. Make it through 20 levels of bubble popping madness. That's crazy. I don't think there's any beginner mode. It just goes straight to pro. Okay. Pop all the lights off, then press the big button before time runs out. Each new level gets faster and faster. Okay. Okay, here it is. Very cute and tiny. These are not poppets on the side, but we do have a whole, this whole thing is a button from what I understand. And this is the instruction guide? Yeah. Okay, oh my god, that's a lot of instructions. Okay, let me see what we're doing here. Alright, this is really interesting. You select your game mode by pressing any of the buttons on top over here. And depending on what you do, you will get different kinds of scores. So this is pretty interesting. I love this. But let's see if it's actually good. So we press the back. And this is the volume. So I think this is low. This is medium. And this is high. Oh, that's low. Oops. Hang on, let's try it. Okay, let's go with a loud volume. Oh my goodness. And let's go with level one. Wait, am I? That's upside down. <laughs> That's upside down. Let's try that again. Hang on. Okay, there we go. This is volume. That's low. This is high. So we're going to keep the high volume and we're going to do mode one. So for mode one, we're supposed to make it through 20 levels. We have to pop the lit bubbles, then press the back button. Okay, each level has five pops to complete. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. So level this one. Game mode one, and then go. One. What? I pressed it! Okay, let's try that again. Level one, go. all the way until we, you see until we press the light at the bottom because if you just pop it too light and it doesn't touch the button at the bottom it doesn't activate so you have to push your finger all the way in oops there you go this is fun i'm really slow but this is really fun and you can easily tell which one hang on let's put this up here this is very stimulating and you can easily tell when you move on to the next level because it did this oh 20 different levels. This is pretty easy to navigate. And they also have a player mode, kind of like Bop It, where you can play, pass on to the next player. So let's see how that one sounds. It's called Pop and Pass, where we take level, well, game level two. So let's press the back, activate it. Hello? There we go. So we're gonna take level two, game mode two, and then it's gonna be Pop and Pass. So we do our part, then we pass it to the next person. Next person. Next person. So it keeps going. Hang on. There we go. It keeps going until someone doesn't do it right. This is cute. I think this is one of my favorite things now. This is good for if the power goes out or anything like car rides or something like that. I kind of like this. And then we have the pop and blitz, which is game mode three. And this one actually keeps your score. And depending on how many of these little bubbles are lit, if they're flashing, it's 10 points. If it's just a light, then it's one point. So let's, let's just do it quick. I don't want to gather too many points. So we're going to activate it. Take game mode three. And let's go. Time's out. 
So this is how many scores we got. So these two are flashing, so that's 21 points. Kitty editor, let me know if that's the precise points that we got. I think it's 21 because these two are flashing and this is not flashing. So I'm guessing 21 points. All right, let's reset. Ah, yeah. <laughs> this is absolutely unexpected. I'm going to have to say I'm going to give this a proper solid 9 on 10. It's entertaining, it's easy to learn, easy to navigate, and it's pretty fun and there's noise. You can even turn the noise off too if you don't want. Next, let's check out the play and learn control panel type of fidget toy. There's so many buttons on here so I'm pretty interested in seeing what that's going to be like. And you are. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. It's just a foam to protect you. Okay. Let's see. There's keys on top of it and instructions and a box. Okay, it's not instructions. What are you? There's a power supply. Okay. What the heck? Wait, I don't get this. This is a power supply? What do I plug you in? Hang on, I'll be right back. So it turns out the instructions are actually important to look at because it seems to plug into itself and we need to open the cover and then put in our AAA batteries. Luckily I had AAA batteries. Let's go ahead and open you up like a so. That is, that is a long screw and like a so. And voila. Okay, that's an interesting place to put batteries. So here's our first one. Well, that flew. <laughs> All right, here you go. Don't pop out. And in you go. Voila. And now we can go ahead and close that up. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Like so. I guess we have to turn you on. Oh, okay. What does that do? This one and that one. Okay, so everything is on here. What do I do? That's more lights. And then we have a key. Let's put the key in here. Let's turn you around. Okay, we can get to turn the lights on or off. So we have the green light that gets turned on by this. We have the orange that is controlled by here. We have red through this button and green through this button. So everything is on. This gets plugged in. This is activated here. And then it looks like we might have some music. I'm not sure. I'm guessing this switch is going to turn this on. Yes. And let's see what happens. What does that do? Okay, I don't hear any music. Oh, oh, okay. That is, that is not music. This is just the speed at which it goes. So if I can turn it off and have it go as slow or as quickly as I want it. I don't think there's any volume. I don't think so. I think this is just silent fidgeting. So you can go faster. So you can really see that there's a bit of an action consequence kind of reaction. How fast can it go? This is the quickest it goes. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I mean, clearly it shows action and consequence. That's it. I just, I don't see it. Yeah, you have the buttons. And yeah, that's, that's it. I mean, you don't even have to plug it into itself. It's just, that's how things are activated. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not crazy about this. I'm, I'm going to give it a three on 10 just because I, I, I'm not excited about it. I don't see myself keeping it. As always, let me know what your impressions are in the comments. I really truly wanted to love this, but I, I just can't. There's not much for me. So let's move on to Rubik Electronic Game. This fidget cube is supposed to be a game. It was recommended to me by Amazon, so I don't know exactly what to expect other than the fact that there are different colors. And it says, challenge your mind, build your memory, pouch included apparently for ready to travel. So this should be pretty interesting. Again, it seems like it's the Bop It or Simon type of game where it says, can you follow me, chase me, and then catch me and then remember me. So this is going to be fun to check out. So here we have the little, my goodness, everything is making noise. Here, here's the little pouch it comes in or well, that comes with it. Oh my God, it says power your fun. Wow. 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 And then here, we have the famous cube. What is this? Okay, so this here is nothing. This is just the bottom. And then here we have the game modes. Interesting, cute. And I'm guessing these are the buttons, more buttons. So we have four different sides, one, two, three, four for the game and here for the settings. And it also comes with the instruction guide and what the game modes do, cute. So let's see, let's turn it on. Hello? Do you need batteries? Yes, you do. At the bottom it says open, so I'll be right back. 
a few minutes later. All right, so I got it open. It does take three triple A's, so an extra one from the one I absolutely hated, unfortunately. But here we go. Select A. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's too much. This is too much. Okay, we can control the music. It's just getting further and further. Select okay, I think this is a good volume. So the first mode is called Catch Me. And this one, we only have to press the red buttons and occasionally the blue buttons will show up for three seconds, which will give us bonus points. So let's see what that looks like. Select Catch me. Catch me. Where are you? Hello? Big okay. Oh my gosh. Where's the blue ones? You're not supposed to touch green. Where's the blue one? Ooh, almost touched the green. Did I win? Oh, blue is gone. We got it for a few seconds. You know what? This is cute. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, goodness. Hang on. It actually keeps your score. This is voice activated. So far on first impression, this is pretty easy to move around. And again, you can keep the volume high or low depending on what you want. I think it's pretty cool so far. Let's check the other game modes. And I noticed you can even make music. This next one, remember me, apparently it calls the name of the color out and we have to click based on the color. So let's try that. Select game. <laughs> this, is, this is too much. All right, remember me. remember me. So we have blue, green, red, yellow. Yellow. Okay, this blue. is it. Blue. Green. Oh. Score zero. Whoa. Okay. Game. I think I'm supposed to wait for him to finish talking. Remember me. Okay, go. Begin. just kind of looking for the uh, red colors. And then there are more complex type of game modes, but again, I am more curious about the music mode. There's a QR code if y'all are interested, right here. Not sponsored, not affiliate, but let's see what music mode sounds like. Select game, make music. Oh wow, that is pretty. Oh, what? Okay, something's going on here. myself okay okay yes so the instructions say that if you want to play and record your music you have to press the red square at the bottom so let's say I press it now it's recording and then press it again <laughs> I've always loved these kinds of things ever since I was a little grain so I do like recording Yeah, that would keep me busy for a while. But I have to say, this is way easier to hold than I expected. And I feel like I would probably fidget with this more than a Rubik's Cube because it's not just based on memory. I'm not a huge fan of memory games, but I like the ones where you chase things or press different buttons depending on the colors. For me, this is definitely a good one. I'm going to give this an 8.2 on 10. Now we have the jellyfish looking type of fidget toy. Now this is also supposed to be a sensory exploration, cause and effect, motor skills, and whatnot, but apparently you can also chew it. I know that some of you grains like to fidget chew, so this could be something interesting because it does have food grade silicone. Let's pull that thing out. There were no instructions, so I don't know. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what to expect. So let's take a closer look at what this is. Okay, so it seems like there's a button here. There's nothing here. What does this do? Oh, okay. <gasps> you could push this. I like that. 
I like these kinds of fidgets. It's kind of like a cat toy. <laughs> this is entertaining. I like that. Yeah, this for me is really good. We have textures on the side, two different textures. We have lines over here, and it's also in a bit of a groove, so it kind of gives this worry stone vibe. And then over here, we have little indents. What's the bottom? Okay, the bottom is the same thing. What are you? Are you puppets? Yes. Oh, wow, that is a deep, deep push. Let's hear the other side. Nice, it's a good quality. And then here, what do we do with this? These are different silicons and they have different textures as well. They do feel pretty good, okay? And what do I do here? Am I supposed to pull this? Let's pull you. Okay, all right. The sounds are pretty interesting. This is quiet. Oh, okay. So we can see that there are different ribs, nibs, textures at the bottom of these. They're kind of like monkey noodles. Let's go ahead and pull this one. That's a nice deep sound. Okay, I don't know if this one's gonna make any sound. No, that one's quiet. This one has like little worm texture. Okay, I'm liking these sounds. This one has more of the worm texture. Let's hear you. Oh, like a purr. I have to say there's not much going on here, but it is pretty entertaining. You know what, let's chew it. I'm gonna chew this. Oh, that's good. That's so good. I'm not a fidget chewer, but that silicone actually felt good. It didn't have an aftertaste or anything like that, and it was pretty soft. So I know there's not much going on to it, but it feels pretty good, and it is really pretty, and you can even fidget with it just like this. I'm going to give this a base of seven on 10. This is probably one of the wildest things that I was able to find online simply because it's supposed to mimic removing blackheads. Again, I am pretty squeamish because we had a pimple remover fidget toy that went kind of like this. Oh, gross. Oh, and these kinds of activities are extremely popular on TikTok. So let's see what we get. So this is supposed to be a mystery character, but I think in the back it says that it is this one over here. However, the one that was sent by one of you grains does not tell us which one it is. So we're likely to get two different characters. So let's go ahead and see the one that one of you grains sent over. And what do we have? I'm hoping that we get a kissy face one. Kissy face is cute. Or the derpy one. I'll take either or. And you are. Okay. Oh, gross. Oh, that is so gross. Wait. Oh, look at that. It actually comes with the tweezers. Oh my goodness, that is gross. These are actually good quality too, I think. Seems so. So we have the tweezers. It's metallic. And we have this character. What am I supposed to do with you? Are there instructions? <laughs> my mind went straight to the gutter. It's a booty! <laughs> There's no instructions, but okay. What? What the heck? So it says pull black head, it's cute, okay. But then it says, I don't know what that means. But clearly we're squishing the tush. I want to squish the tush. Let's try that out. Yeah, very squishable. Oh, that is very soft. That is nice, nice and squishable. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see, but there are tiny little dots that are sticking out of the character. So let's go ahead and take the tweezer and grab one and see if we can pull. My goodness. Oh, there you go. What the heck? Ew! Ew! <laughs> Those are ingrown hairs! So we pulled out a little bit of an ingrown hair. Now, I can see myself enjoying this. Let's pull another one out because it's kind of like a stress relief. There you go. Look at that and pull. Oh, there it is. There's a bit of a white bottom. So I guess I did this one right. This is definitely an anti-anxiety and anti-stress kind of toy because it keeps you preoccupied. You could just have this in front of you and try and get as close as possible to the endings. This is way better than I expected. And when you do touch it, the texture is a little bit on the rough side, kind of like touching a small beard. But otherwise, you can definitely go in and just pull. There you go, you see, like so. And again, we got the white end, which means we did it right. And there's so many little bumps here. And then you can use it as a weird keychain and just squish at the booty. This is cute. I did not expect to like this as much as I am right now. I'm going to give this a solid 8.5. It's simple, it's small, it's portable, it'll keep you busy, and it's cute as a squishy for later fidgeting. Look at that, comes with its own keychain. Let's see our next character. This one actually 
came with a card. What the heck? Okay. I guess these are a thing. This is original design from Angel's Wonderland. And we have... Where are you? Oh my gosh, look at the face. This character is so not impressed. Oh my goodness. Feels the same as the other one. And the tweezer on this one is also metallic, but it seems seems like they're both pretty good quality. This is the one we got in the previous one, and this is the one we just got. So actually, they're the same, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and pull one out. Let's take one from the edge. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. Okay, there we go. I know we should be wearing gloves when we're doing it in real life, but that's not the case. This is definitely way better than the pimple popping toy. It doesn't have that element of grossness to me. I'm gonna stick to my actual rating. This next one was sent to me by one of you grains and it is by Aviva. Aviva, I do apologize that I did miss your Kickstarter, but I will leave the QR code here in case you grains are interested or want to reach out for maybe more, I don't know. But the concept of this is that it's a fidget animation ring. Look at that. As you turn it, you see a little bit of an animation going on here. We have a horse running, which is pretty neat. Very, very interesting. I've never seen something like this before, so that's really cool. And we do have a T-Rex edition. Let's add it on and see what that looks like. And here's the T-Rex. No, look at it. Look at the little feet just running. That's adorable. Look at that. Super cute. I like this. This is a great concept. Unfortunately, this was not fully backed, so I'm hoping that Aviva was able to still make this happen. Fingers crossed. Again, if you want to give a little bit of love, I gave you the QR code earlier. And last but not least, sensory mats. For those of you who like textures, this is probably going to be it, so let's see what it's like. And there's supposed to be 16 different kinds of textures on this. All right, oh my God. We're gonna start off with the Cheeto looking one. Oh wow, oh that is exactly like those carpets that are super floofy, except you know this is clean because it's just your hands. Okay, this feels really nice. And this came in a pack of 16 for about $30. So, and they're supposed to be anti-slip. Yeah, a little bit, kind of. This feels pretty good. Okay, I like this. Especially you can go and just press on each one of these as it is. So if you like textures, this is definitely good so far. Next texture. Okay, that's just kind of like blanket texture. Very meh about that. Next, what are you? Oh, it's like them purses. It's kind of plasticky. It's quite cold. Not a fan of it. So, nope, not for me. And then, oh, you floofy. Oh, but it's really thin. This is really fluffy, but extremely thin. So it's kind of like the outer part of a plushie. So it has that softness, but it doesn't have that cushion. So you can see how thin this is. So it's, it's you know, if they stuffed it with a little bit of cotton or even filling, that would have added a little bit more to the experience. Oh no, oh I hate these. Oh I hate these, this is gonna be scratchy and glittery, right? Oh, I hate that. That is so scratchy. How's the glitter? Okay, a little bit of glitter here, which makes it so that you definitely can't put this around little ones because there's gonna be microplastics and then they're gonna put it in their mouth. So be careful of that. Yeah, I don't like this texture at all. What are you? A mirror type. Oh, you have to peel this off. <laughs> I was like, it's pretty, pretty hard to see, but look at that. <laughs> okay, this is kind of cool. Very sensory-esque, kind of neat. And then, um, uh, not crazy. You know what? What would have made this? Oh goodness. Oh, this is like um, like a fancy seat, or maybe the ones at the bus that are a little fuzzy. Yeah, it definitely feels like the ones they use at buses. It's a little fuzzy, and I'm talking public bus, not school bus. <laughs> what would elevate this more? There you go. You can see it better is if they actually put a little bit of filling on the inside of these because they're so flat, they're really not interesting on the hands. But let's see the next one. It actually looks interesting. So there's little bumpy dumpies, bumpy dumpies, little bumps. Oh, that feels good. It actually feels good. But again, because it's so flat, it, it doesn't go beyond that. So you can see they're very, very small little buttons, little fuzzy buttons. Oh, I don't like these. I don't, I, I'm okay with soft textures. I just don't like the shiny ones. Feels like a, a jacket. <laughs> Another texture that feels like a raincoat, like a fake leather. Not too crazy about that. This one is like, okay, it's like a backpack. You know the part where you put your water bottle? Yeah, it kind of feels like that. So nothing exciting, but it does have a little bit of cushion in there, which already is making this texture more interesting. So I feel like they could have added more of that. Oh no, more plastic. Another raincoat or boot or something. Nah. 
more bumpies. This one is a little, oh, this one's nice. They really should have put a little foam in there. The texture on this one's nice. So far, I feel like out of the 16, we only have three that are pretty good. Let's see the rest. Okay, this is weird. It has nice texture. It's a little on the rubbery side, but kind of like a cloth. It's hard to explain this texture. Aha, sequence. Oh, it's very scratchy. It doesn't have the fun part of sequins where they turn around. Very glittery. But no, not crazy about that. It doesn't have the fun part where you can just go like that. So it's not great because it's quite scratchy. And then this one is basically a washcloth. That's, that's basically a washcloth. That's what it feels like. It's nice and soft, but again, this is, this is a washcloth. So it could be good to have an exposure for little ones, perhaps, for texture, but it didn't have that depth of texture like we saw on the first one. All the rest just kind of went downhill from there. So I'm going to give this set probably a 5 on 10. Let me know what are your thoughts. If you want to watch more fidget toy reviews, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch something a little crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video. I got you. This is so noisy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I. Oh my god. There. Okay. There we go.